from around here, are you? No, I, I live in Brooklyn, actually. Hey, YouTubers, it's Charlie, and Marvel just announced they're making an Agent Carter TV show based on the short film starring Haley Atwell. She's not officially signed on to play the role in the TV series, but they are releasing that short film with the Iron Man 3 DVD next week on Tuesday, time with the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. premiere. So what's really cool about all this though is Marvel really seems to be developing TV shows based on these short films that they do every year after their big movies. So remember after Avengers they had item 47. That was all about people taking alien tech left over from the Avengers invasion and using it to commit crimes and how S.H.I.E.L.D. had to clean all that up. So obviously Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. was born from that show. Now you have Iron Man 3 this year and they did a follow up with the Peggy Carter character from the first Captain America film and now you have an Agent Carter TV show. So they're basically using these short films as test beds for new TV shows, which is really exciting. So think of the show as like a spiritual successor to Alias or like the X-Files. It has a lot of supernatural and sci-fi elements set in this Marvel universe, but it's a period piece. So think Downton Abbey crossed with sci-fi and it has a real strong female lead like Alias did and will fit nicely with ABC's programming right now. They have a lot of strong female characters like Kerry Washington on Scandal. I think that the fact that it's a period show is going to really help it out and just keep it under budget just because they won't have to deal with too much tech just like a lot of the modern shows do and they won't have too many superheroes or mutants. So obviously like in the X-Men universe you have a lot of people born as mutants and there are superheroes like Captain America that came from the 1940s but most of the Marvel superheroes today are actually born in the modern era so on the show most of them won't haven't even been born yet. But let me know what you think about the idea of an Agent Carter TV show. Most of us haven't even seen the short film yet, but I'm really excited. I saw a clip at Comic-Con and it's really exciting. So it's basically like a sci-fi espionage spy show. So think maybe like Bourne films crossed with X-Files. It's also really cool because it'd be the first female Marvel character post Disney to get her own TV show or movie. Obviously I think a lot of people expected Black Widow to get a movie sometime soon, but it looks like Haley Atwell is going to beat her to the punch. One of the other really cool things too is that ABC and television in general has had a lot of really strong females recently like Emily Van Camp on Revenge. She's also in a Captain America movie next year which is kind of funny. Small world. Kerry Washington on Scandal and there's like Amy Poehler on Parks and Rec. So there are a lot of strong female characters on television right now. So I think that Peggy Carter and Haley Atwell who will hopefully return will just fit in really nicely with that bunch. So in case you're not familiar with the character or you didn't pick up on it in the first Captain America film. Peggy Carter is basically like a British agent working with the precursor to S.H.I.E.L.D. during the events of the first Captain America movie back in the 1940s. That's around World War II. So basically what happens is, is that she helps turn Steve Rogers into Captain America. Then obviously he gets frozen in ice and she basically goes on to become a secret agent with S.H.I.E.L.D. This show will basically deal with that. This show will basically deal with her learning to become a secret agent. Just to tie it to Captain America the Winter Soldier, the Peggy Carter character actually in the mythology of this had a daughter named Sharon Carter who also joined S.H.I.E.L.D. She will be in Captain America the Winter Soldier as a S.H.I.E.L.D. agent working with Steve Rogers. There have been some rumors that they're supposed to have a romance in the film and that she might even be the Red Skull's secret daughter, Sin. But if that were true then none of the backstory about her being Peggy Carter's daughter would be true. So based on the amount of time it took for Item 47 to air and the time that Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is premiering, it's totally possible that we could see an Agent Carter TV series premiering alongside Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. Season 2 next year in 2014. Obviously ABC would want to piggyback on the success of Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. hoping that it'll be massively popular, which I think it will be. Like I said, Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D. is premiering next week. I'll be doing review videos for each episode. Be sure to subscribe to get them. And don't forget there's a ton more TV shows coming back this month and in October, so there'll be a whole lot of TV on my channel real soon. And just because you guys have been so awesome and helped me get so many subscribers so fast, I'm doing a special Sherlock themed giveaway for when I hit 25,000 subscribers. I did a video explaining it right here. You can watch it. Or if you've seen that already, you can click here to learn about all my other recent Marvel news. Thank you so much for watching. You guys are awesome. High fives.